All right, we're getting a decent downpour. I'm gonna show you the whole ditch line, but here's up on the top. This is just the very top. Imagine the bottom. Let's follow it down. All right, we go down next to the garage here. Make a hard right. Okay. Look at her build up steam. Wow. Oh. Niagara Falls starting here. I'm actually losing a bunch right here. I gotta get the shovel and try and fix that little hump right there. Cause right here it's flowing that way. Dang it. This is how this lake is gonna fill up. I promise you it would. And I'm making good on my ditches right now. Wow. Okay, that was the ditch that I built. Now let me show you the old ditch for the old pond, how it's running. Oh look, while I'm here, look at this. This is the, the gutters and the driveway. Right there, the pipes that I buried. Look at all this coming. It's coming off of the pipes and the front lawn and the, the hill right here. Wow, I could hear it rushing like a whitewater right up here going into the old pond. So, uh, this, if it fills the old pond about three, four inches, look out below. Here it is. That's the original runoff going into the old pond. All I did was put a pipe there. Look at that. All right, now the moment of truth to see if the old pond is running into the new one yet. I'm doubtful it is because it, it was down like four inches from uh, evaporation. But if it's running, then we got all of this running down in a new lake. Look out below. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go check the cut here. 
Uh, there's a look at the fish catch down there. You see that one part is starting to get, it's already underwater. So the moment of truth, if this cut is running, I'll literally be able to sit here and watch this thing filling up slowly. And depending on the rain today, we'll see. So here it is, let's see what we got. Oh, dang it, not yet. Not yet, it's close though. It's really close. You see them bubbles moving just a tiny bit? It's just, just beginning. So this thing has put on about four to five inches this morning. So the longer this rain holds up, once this starts flowing in addition to mine, straight up. I can almost sit here by the minute and watch it fill up. So keep my fingers crossed as she starts to roll right here. Stay tuned, I'll bring it to you today on Capper Outdoors. Ain't this fun? Even though I hate being in the rain, um, I might have to run to town and pick up a new lawnmower. But I'll keep you posted here throughout the day. Oh, and one last thing for those of you following me, um, that orange pond scum, I'm 98% certain it's all gone. That's why I build these watering holes on hillsides so they get recharged. So I'm going to guarantee you that orange scum should be all gone. I'll try to check it today. I can't tell it for sure, but if not tomorrow. Um, but I think that it's going to be all gone. Fresh water in there. That thing will have a fresh start. Okay, it's 9.52 a.m. I just got in from the GoPro tour, just giving you a look from up top. You can see it is making progress, but I think the rain is all done now for the day. I think that's the end of it. That would be a shame um, because if that lake started rolling into this one, this thing would fill so fast. But if that's the end of the rain, we'll get a little bit of residual runoff still into that lake. So we may still run over today into that one, but I'll keep you posted later in the day if we get some more rain. But we are getting fuller. Boy, that's going to be exciting when that fish catch is completely gone and underwater. Stay tuned.